This is the Digital Music Trends coverage of South by Southwest 2014, an interview with Rich Bangloff, the president of A2IM. DMT's coverage of South by Southwest is brought to you by Omniphone, the leading B2B cloud music provider powering global music services including Sony Music Unlimited, Guvera, Rara and Sirius XM. Find out more on Omniphone.com and by Music Graph, the world's first knowledge engine for music available as a consumer app and as a graph API for developers. Check out MusicGraph.com or Developer.MusicGraph.com. Hello everyone and welcome to DMT's coverage of South by Southwest 2014 and it's a real pleasure today to welcome uh, Rich uh, Bangloff who's the president of uh, A2IM. So hi I'm Richard and thanks for joining me, how's it going? Great, thank you for having me. It's a real pleasure. So uh, I've been covering AIM for quite some time and uh, so I'm really looking forward to hearing about A2IM which is essentially you know the sister company in the US so well, you, know, yeah, they're, they're, you have a similar role. They're, right? they're our, our, our cousins so to speak. Yeah. Uh, actually A2IM there were organizations in America prior to A2IM, starting in the 70s. Uh, there were two of them, Naird, and there was an organization called AFM, but they had all gone out of business. Oh, wow. Because uh, they were due supported and membership had declined. And uh, actually, when you say AIM in the UK, it really, AIM was the impetus for starting A2IM in the United States. Uh, Allison Wenham actually came over to the United States and met with some influence labels to help get the organization started. And when was that? When was that? When, when uh, was that? that would have happened about 10 years ago in the fall of 2004. That's great. Uh, and the organization then started in June of 2005. Yeah. But uh, it's an organization, its fundamentals are really easy. Uh, we, we do three things. Uh, we do advocacy, uh, what people might call lobbying for issues. Sometimes we're with the major labels sometimes we're with the artist community sometimes it changes depending on what the issue is sometimes we're by ourselves yeah uh commerce to make sure we're treated fairly and equitably which i'm sure you've heard from allison in the past sure and, and one thing we're really uh, is important to us are member services yeah uh making sure that our members have an extra employee to handle their advocacy make sure they get fair deals but also have people to call on for example here at south by southwest we're going to have a breakfast tomorrow morning uh, uh, last year we had over 260 members at the breakfast. This year it will be That's between awesome. three and 400 people. They get to network and share ideas. Uh, we have, if you went to our website, white, white papers on key services, so they now we issue a newsletter every week. So th there's all these member services oriented uh, things that we're able to do for our members. Yeah. Our whole fundamental being, which I'm sure is similar to what AIM was created for, although I wasn't involved back then, obviously, uh, is to get equity and parity and access. Yeah. Uh, and we didn't have that in the old music economy because we couldn't get on the radio yeah. and we couldn't get on the video channels because we were limited to 168 hours in a week. <laughs> <coughs> At retail, you had to be able to pay to be able to get retail space in the physical world. Well, now for the last dozen so years, the paradigm keeps shifting every year to a digital paradigm and we want to make sure the same barriers that existed back then aren't set up now. Absolutely, and we're seeing incredible success from the from the independent sector when it comes to uh, especially streaming services as well you know the market share is, is pretty good and uh, uh, you know the, the indie sector is really is, it feels like it's healthier healthier than it's ever been we, we over index in that area billboard does a study each year uh, actually twice a year on market share and by copyright ownership the independent sector in 2012 was 32.6 percent wow. in 2013 it went up to 34.6 percent two points is a big jump uh, but that's a hybrid in the digital world our, our share is closer as you noted to 40 percent yeah uh, Pandora gives a lot of credit to their success Tim Westergren who I'm going to see later this evening uh, gives credit the reason their service was successful is people wanted music discovery yeah and that independent music helped get them to the position where they're preeminent at this point in terms of uh, non-interactive streaming services. Yeah. Uh, we, um, we're, we're growing each year. We now have 
325 music label members that stretch from Hawaii to South Beach and Florida and everywhere in between. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're very proud of what we've been able to do with our organization with the help of all the organizations that support us. Yeah. And I'd be remiss, you brought up digital if I didn't mention Merlin, yeah. which has really helped uh, the international community in the area of commerce. Yeah, absolutely. On a practical level, we're talking about some of the things that you've been doing uh, to help increase the exposure of, of the independent community as well in the US. And one of the things was also educating artists and labels around uh, uh, the Grammys, uh, which has, uh, has been a really successful campaign uh, around yeah. sort of helping them understand why they should enter and, and help well, them do so. Well, we, we want more than our fair share of awards. Yeah. Uh, until this year, unfortunately, we had won the last five Album of the Year awards. Uh, this year, for the first time, even though there's been consolidation of categories, uh, Independence won 50% of the Grammys for the first time. Yeah. It, it gives it a profile. Uh, now with increased access and the shrinking of the three major labels, there, there's more votes to be made available to us. Yeah. Uh, we, we constantly do evangelism. If you go to our website, you'll see many articles. That's what this this is about as well, right? Yeah, sure, of course. And, uh, <laughs> and one area we're really focused on is international. Uh, we were the first organization to ever get government funding uh, for the music industry. Uh, they when the Obama administration came in, they said they were looking to increase exports to improve the U.S.'s balance of trade and thus create jobs in America yeah. for easily exportable product, which intellectual property music is. So we've uh, been supported by uh, the federal government, both the U.S. Commerce as well as the Small Business Administration. New York State and Tennessee have all helped us fund. We've had uh, trade missions to uh, Asia, to Brazil, to Europe. Uh, we're about to do one to Canada, which is our neighbor up north. Uh, we're also going to go back to Asia, and we're going to go back to Brazil. And I'm sorry, we left out South Africa. We sent a trade mission there. Uh, without exports, the U.S. is going to, music market's going to have a problem. Yeah. In 2005, the U.S. was. Um, 34% of the worldwide wholesale music market, that's revenues, right. which includes the streaming services you alluded to. Uh, last year, it was 27%. So to have a viable business plan, we have to take some of the business away from our colleagues in international countries yeah. by exporting to those markets. Yeah, so and, uh, do you see an increase uh, in, uh, in uh, attention also? You know, we've seen, for example, country music is starting to make uh, make some waves in, in, in the UK for uh, all places. And so have you seen some updates of genres that perhaps like American were not uh, as big uh, around the world, starting to get consumed more thanks to the Well, uh, uh, Americana, my friend Jed Hilly runs that organization, we've been friends for over 20 years, has really exploded. Yeah. Uh, but of course Americana is just not Americana, because yeah. Mumford & Son <laughs> is from the UK and yeah. they're an Americana <laughs> artist, and, and they've been one of the best-selling artists in the United States for the past three years on one of our members, Glass Note Records. Yeah. Uh, this year, in terms of Americana, Roots Music, the five categories the Americana Association has adopted as theirs, there, there were uh, 25 nominees, 24 of the nominees were from independent labels. Uh, the last three years at the Americana Awards, we've won, one year we won all but one, the other year we won two, all but two. Uh, so we feel as a growth area, uh, we're very bullish on Americana music. I mean, it's the niching of the consumer. Right. I mean, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with Justin Bieber or Rihanna. I mean, they're terrific artists. And, and they, but fans are less interested in just the pop hits and the, the wide appeal. Now there's people who want certain genres. Yeah. Americana, like Mumford, can blow up and can cross over as well. Uh, Taylor Swift's label, Big Machine, is one of our members as well. Most yeah. people are surprised to find she's on an independent label. Absolutely. But, but we, uh, we feel that we super serve our fans. So if you like reggae, yeah. you'd want VP Records, which is the brand in the US. If you were going for EDM, it would be Ultra Records. If you yeah. were going for the blues, it would be Alligator Records. If you were going for metal, it would be Century Media. All our members are brands yeah. for their genres of music. And as consumers get more and more fragmented in terms of what they're interested in listening to, it's only going to play up to our strong suit. Sure, and looking at what 
members need in terms of uh, guidance uh, for the most part? You know, what, what would you feel are the areas where uh, you know a, a smaller label that is uh, is entering the market but is doing well? needs most guidance on uh, uh, as a rule it, it, it's funny to say this but to move slow, slowly and be focused yeah I've seen an awful lot of labels waste an awful lot of money uh, social media is inexpensive everybody has access and if you haven't built up social media you shouldn't even be talking about getting radio play yeah you, you know between social media and Publicity, which sort of is social media now too, you know, because there's a proliferation of blogs and services there. Uh, you should start small, start focused on a small roster of artists, uh, ask a lot of questions, which is one of the roles we have. Uh, sort of as their extra employee, they can call us for help. Yeah. And if we don't have the answer, we have 328 other members that we could send them to. Yes, I'm not familiar with that, but why don't you, you know, you're you're in the with a jazz member called the other day and was looking for distribution in Europe and I was able to say well contact these three labels yeah. which I know had recently redone their international distribution in Europe and they'll be able to help you just tell them that I said to call and that you're an A2IM member as well uh, I have yet to hear of anyone being turned away when they asked a fellow member for help even if they had never met them previously. That's awesome. Finally, what is exciting you about uh, 2014 and beyond for A2IM in terms of uh, uh, the structure or the services that you provide? Is there anything in particular you're working The towards? international. This year we're really stepping up. Uh, we got more government funding than we had in the past. As I said, it's a relatively new thing. It's literally only 18 months ago that we got our first funding wow. for all those different trips. Uh, it's coming up with a sustainable business model for our members. Uh, otherwise Otherwise, we, we do the same thing day in and day out, which is support our members, hold networking events like the ones here and in other countries, and make sure that somebody has their back. And there's a community there, yeah? Yes. That's great. Well, thanks so much, Rich, for your time. It was time. my pleasure. Thank you for having me. And thanks for listening to the DMT coverage of uh, South by Southwest. You can find out everything on digitalmusictrends.com.